You've seen them at the movies, machines made into man-like police officers. Well, this is no longer just fiction. CBS 12's Peter Schaller discovered a real robocopying built right here in South Florida. We fight wars with drones. With the help of robots, we take out terrorists with laser precision. Red light cameras can effectively write you a ticket. And it was a SWAT team robot, not an officer, that discovered the bodies of two people dead inside their West Palm Beach home last week. So was it really that far-fetched to think that this could be next? It stands six feet tall and weighs 75 pounds. This is what the police officer of the future looks like inside the Discovery Lab at Florida International University. So far, the reaction has been great. Operators control the robot remotely by wearing a suit covered with sensors. Every move is mimicked by the robot in the real world. They have speakers so that the teleoperator can speak to the, the citizen. Using a wireless connection, the operator can see exactly what the robot is seeing out on the streets using cameras through the robot's eyes. And the nose is a sonar sensor. It knows just how close something is. You can see the cameras and the eyes adjust accordingly, just like real eyes would focus on something right up close. Researchers say this robot would work best downtown in a city, writing tickets, giving directions, and directing traffic. It could also record surveillance video that could help solve crimes and protect itself. In case anyone tries to do anything to the robot, all the images have already been sent. Peter Schaller, CBS 12 News. Pretty cool. FIU started developing the RoboCop after receiving a $20,000 grant from a lieutenant commander in the U.S. Navy Reserves. He says he simply wanted to create jobs for disabled soldiers.